Kia ora guys, gals and legionnaires, Rikon here and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We're back with Noah the Chef and we are going to get boiling. Boiling water and making ourselves some lovely tasty omelettes. So, let's dive on in. At least that is our goal, our intention. We're going to get probably quite over encumbered by filling up all the bottles that we have. We have a number of bottles that need to be filled. Uh, and we are back on one of the original mods that we had, water wise. And uh, we're going to risk it here by getting over encumbered and trying to fill up every single one of these suckers. Boil them away and um, hopefully get some kind of semi decent. Um, water supplies from this really. Now we are going to lose the bottles in the process that I think I've eventually, finally come to terms with after much, um, well, self-discovery, debate, time spent in the mountains I've come down and realized that, well, bottles can dissolve and uh, that's what's happening here. We can't question it. It is what it is. And God damn, we've got a lot of bottles. <laughs> we, oh, okay, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it. Okay, I think we overdid it. <laughs> so let's get boiling, uh, and we're essentially just going to be going like as fast as possible. Like this. There we go. So we, we managed to get a decent amount of boiling water from that. With that, we'll now be able to actually make ourselves some lovely omelettes. Uh, right. We still only have two things of dirty water. Why? Oh no! We purified it all! <laughs> Oh my god, we've got too much purified water now. <laughs> Welcome to cooking with Rikon. Ah, and Noah. And uh, well, occasionally we like to mess things up like that. It's, uh, it's, a, little, it's a little goof we do. Uh, we've got 12 boiled water, which is awesome. That's great. However, we do want to get rid of these eggs because they're heavy. I've got a lot of stuff just sitting inside here. An ice cold new quantum. Sounds damn good right about now. Uh, we aren't thirsty or anything at the moment. Uh, however, maybe we can just smash back a beer and get some get some bottles that way. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, no, okay. I'm not sure if the, the beer stacks in terms of its radiation uh, removal effects. But if we go and have ourselves some wine, we've got a liquor bottle from that. Just go and fill that bottle up. Uh, that is just still going to count as one water, I believe. I believe. We need, we know we need, th oh no, no, hang on. We're not trying to boil, we just need dirty water. Well, we need two dirty water per omelette. So, yes. I'm just going to wait until we stop seeing our radiation go down. I mean, this is one way for us to get, you know, a little bit of rads, you know, out of our system. It's not a bad way to do it. Okay. You know what? I think we're going to have another bottle of wine. Um, I kind of see this working in character as well. Um, because Noah has had a fair few rough days lately. A fair few. Now, if we go to roast, we should be able to make ourselves another one. Yes, indeed we can. Okay, so we still have quite a few more in the running there. So we're going to need to um, boost it up a little bit more before we leave. Do you hear that? I thought I could hear, like, feet echoing. Maybe it's just something knocking. Oh, it's probably you guys twerking. Undoubtedly, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of them just having a bit of a fit. That's fine. Let's have something else to drink. Um, let's see. We could go for some Nuka Cola. It caffeinates us and it is going to hydrate us a little bit at the same time. So we'll go ahead and do that. Sure, we take some rads for doing that. But we get a bottle back in the process. And then we're going to have a beer. I'm just waiting to see if I can. Yeah, I think the rads have stopped moving. So let's go have ourselves a, uh, let's have the last Pilsner. Here we go. Fill that up, and the other one. Oh, we had a few there. Okay. Let's go ahead. No, don't, we don't want to access them. I just want to put away the, uh, dangerous blade. And, uh, yeah, let's get roasting. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I just... I was rushing. I was rushing. So that's, that's why that happened. Okay, so we can do one more. So... Yeah, I think I think we're just going to. I, I almost feel like we should just leave it at that. Um, the only thing is that the eggs are, they do weigh a fair amount, so this is probably the better way for us to do this. Uh, just keep having something to drink, something to 
slowly kind of get our rads down. Uh, what else do we have to drink at the moment? We've got a lot of beer still. Um, actually, we're starting, we're starting to run a little bit lower on our booze. So we'll have to make sure that we pick up some more. We'll have uh, two more bottles of beer. And that should sort us out. Um, we don't get any drunk effects in this, which is weird. Like, uh, you know, I find that a little strange. But uh, I, I thought they would have been part of the base game. But uh, no, no effects. Okay, that is done. So we, we have a decent amount of food. We have a decent amount of water now. So we shouldn't have to concern ourselves with that for at least a good few episodes. So those of you who, who desperately hate seeing that, you don't need to worry about it anymore. Oh, right, that's where all our beer was. I was like, where's all our beer? We just had it chilling in there. So we're going to go take our meat back. Take that, the toxic cocktail. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll start taking everything back. I just want to make sure that we're going to be able to fit everything. Oh, that's a lot of beer. That's a lot of beer. <laughs> oh dear. We're we're right at capacity. And that means we essentially are gonna to have to keep on having them. Oh no! And we haven't even got our rifle. So we got way too much. <laughs> we got way too much. God damn. Uh we we are oversupplied right now. Um, which is a it's a rare thing for us to be having. Uh, what we're probably going to do is get rid of some of our ammo. It doesn't weigh too much. As you can see, it weighs pretty much crap all, but there's a few things here that we're never going to use. Shotgun shells, plasma cartridges, fusion cells we're never going to use. The 5.56 we might end up using. The 10mm, same kind of deal. The 50 caliber, it's so rare, we're probably not going to touch it. So, yeah. I mean, the 308 rounds, they've been pretty rare as well. For the most part, we've got a lot of 45 rounds. Hmm... Yeah, I don't think we can take anything else off there. Uh, we still have two liquor bottles, apparently. Oh, because we just had some more to drink. Yeah, we could fill those up. Let's not do that for now. <laughs> the Abraxo Cleaner isn't going to weigh us down too much. Same time, are we going to make any bandages? No, I think we're okay. We're going to drop that for now. And, um, yeah, we're picking up that pot's going to weigh us down as well. Unfortunately. I, I mean, I hate to do it. I hate to say it, but we might have to leave that behind. We might have to leave some booze behind. I don't I don't want to be the one to do it. Uh, I also feel like we might need to leave some of this dog meat, etc. behind, because um, not likely to be able to do anything with it. Everything else weighs pretty damn light. The crab meat's weighing a fair amount, actually, so we need to make sure that we, we eat that before we eat anything else. Uh, apparently our omelettes aren't very heavy. Yeah, they're they're definitely light. Awesome. Okay, well that's that's actually a good thing for us. Uh, but yeah, a lovely beer. I hate to part with it. We're gonna get rid of the stout. I want to keep the lagers. Pale ale. I'm not so keen on. I do just like a good lager, really. Um, let's go grab that just to see what the damage is. Oh. oh. Okay. That's something. That is uh, most certainly something. Oh dear. You know what? I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's going to be better for us to just sleep for now. Yeah. That could be a way to do it. We need to we need to heal ourselves up anyway. Uh, is there anything else in there that we need? No, there isn't. So we can we can let that go out. I'm going to go and drop um, our rifle on the ground. And we're going to drop our uh, sleeping bag as well. The reason I'm doing this now, uh, in the fireplace, uh, no, let's go ahead and move it, uh, right, oh god, really, this is how we're going to do it, I know, I don't want our gun to disappear, so we're just going to pick it up, <laughs> uh, and we'll place it down over here, try to, um, we're not going to let those beers go to waste, I'm just going to drink them now, and we'll go to sleep, yeah, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. See that sneaky? Tried to maybe drink water. Ain't gonna happen. We're drinking beer tonight. Is that more crab meat in there? Really? Really? It's just you. Fine. <laughs> Fine, we'll take it. The Pilsen is worn off. Let's go ahead and have some more of those then. Because we're gonna we're gonna throw them away anyway, so we might as well have them. Get rid of this, some of those rads. Parched from lack of water. Of course it's gonna make us dehydrated. Well, we have more than enough water now, so we can have that at the very least. Although that doesn't really help us out too much. Probably hydrated. 
yeah. Let's get ready to go to sleep. Just keep that kind of semi close to us and not so hovering in the ground. I feel a little bit better about that now. Okay, so we'll sleep as long as we can. I think it's only three hours, but we'll try five and just see see where we end up. Okay, our arm. Oh, our arm's better. Okay, good, fantastic. That's uh, that's good news. So we can actually shoot things properly. We can move about properly. What is the time though? It's three twenty, three fifty two at the moment. We're still we're still dealing with fatigue, so we could try and sleep for another five hours and just see where that kind of gets us. Let's go ahead and do that. Another five. Means that we'll be kind of going out during the evening, but sometimes that's actually better for us. Weirdly enough. Okay, uh, well we feel rested, so I guess that's the best we're going to get there. Um, we're not thirsty or anything yet as well, which is kind of surprising. Definitely surprising. I don't want to leave any of this stuff behind, but we might just have to. Uh, that we're definitely going to have to leave behind. We might have to leave the IED behind as well. So that we can actually take our uh, rifle. And we can barely take it, because we also need to take the cooking pot. Pick you up. And... Pick you up as well. We're going to go ahead and clean this up, just so it's not going to mess up the world. And, yeah, so we're still quite... We're, we're not in the best place when it comes to that. So if we were going to go and get rid of all of this booze, which sucks, uh, well, we might as well drink some of it if we're going to drop it away, right? Oh, did we get two bottles then? That's weird. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm getting two bottles there. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. That's weird. Uh, but you know what? I'm kind of not going to complain about it. Seen as we're losing our bottles during the uh, brewing process anyway, so maybe that's the mod's way of trying to give back to us in some form or fashion. Who knows? But well, we're gonna have to get rid of this booze, and while it pains me to do it, we're gonna have to do it. Otherwise, we're just gonna be stuck for a long time. Now, I do want to try and find somewhere where we're gonna be able to stash things, because uh, we've got we've got more than enough crap now that uh, we are just not able to carry things properly at all. So. We need to keep our eyes out while we're on the road for places that we might be able to do that. And uh, I do want to start by exploring this tunnel. Ooh, we can hear it just change the audio altogether. I don't know where this is going to take us. I'm thinking, ah, it's going to take us into the restaurant? Oh no, this is going to take us into the... where all the water is, right? Correct? Maybe. Hmm. Well, as long as we don't get, um... Or is it going to get too deep? No, it's okay so far. As long as it doesn't get too deep, I'm, um, I'm happy. Or... What? What was that? You, you teleported, you can't, that's not, no! You, we all saw that, right? No! 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 Why am I missing? Why am I missing? You found me, but you... What is going on? What is happening? Hi. Damn it. Okay. All right. We're going to have to go loud. Uh, why can I... Oh, we don't have it favorited. Okay. Let's go favorite it before... I don't know what it's doing running away from us. Also, it just kind of turned up. It's freaking me out. Anyone else going to do that? Where the... God damn! I feel like we got it multiple times. Oh no! Oh, okay, I'll take the dirty water, why not? Well, actually, no, we can't. We're gonna get over encumbered. <sighs> uh, yeah. Too many bad misses there. I'm not super happy about that. Oh god, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that from? Is that from your body? Whoa, 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 what the heck? Okay, don't like that. What the hell's going on here? Can I can I run past him, or is he not the source of the radiation? Let's have another look around here. I mean, it looked like he could just keep on going, so maybe we should try and do just that. We might end up taking some rads in the process, but I oh know we're we're all right. Are you still? No, he's not radioactive now. I'd love to take that. 
Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, maybe it's a glowing one. Uh, if that's the case, we need to move fast. Nope. I... What the frack? Okay. Well, we know this place. We've been here before. I don't know what was going on down there. Decided it was going to be best for us to run away. Um, I still don't know what was going on down there. <laughs> but this is familiar territory. We have been here before. The stout's worn off. We should- oh, we're over-encumbered now. Of course. Oh, there's some weird things. I, let's just stay away from the sewers. There's some unusual things happening there. Uh, and how bad is it? What's the damage? Uh, only three. Okay, so we could just end up taking some more booze if we have any other types left. We've got some whiskey left. Let's go ahead and just have some of that. It's gonna allow us to carry a little bit more for a while. And it will get rid of some of those rads we just took. Did anyone else come and say hello? No? No. Okay. Let's get out of this horrible place. Ah, <sighs> okay. Alright, well, we're gonna be leaving the breweries behind. <laughs> we are, we are, we are done and we are dusted. That was a weird sound. It looks like we're gonna be dealing with a longer loading screen. I will see you on the other side. Ah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> well, fantastic. We have ourselves another rad storm. Uh, no surprises, and unfortunately no way to detect them from inside. We're gonna have to spend a fair bit of time waiting in here, I'm not gonna have you sit through all of that, I'm gonna try and scavenge for some steel, make ourselves some caltrops, and just wait. And one, <laughs> once I return, I hope that the storm will have passed. Okay, things are finally sounding. Nice. I did as much work as I could while we were in there. We're still very close to being at capacity. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, dear. I had to wait probably about five hours, and finally it has passed. Uh, kind of going in and out, and, uh, well, we finally have ourselves a night. I've just drunk some Nuka Cola to help us stay awake for a little bit longer, because we're going to need to move on from here. If we have a look at our map, uh, we have these marked on here now. So they're, they're marked on there from our time in the brewery. Uh, we have Diamond City on here, we have Scholle Square. I'm thinking we're probably going to be trying to head over towards Scholle Square. Um, so we're going to see if we can... There we go. Try and head kind of towards that region here. That's going to be our way to kind of try and get across. Uh, I'm not quite sure the best route, because it doesn't matter whichever way we go, we're essentially going to run into trouble. Um, the Alliance seem to have this place locked down pretty tightly, and the Alliance, some of them, they seem to have patience, and others just no patience whatsoever. We could go down by the murder church and try and go around that way. I think either way we go, it's going to be not super amazingly great for us. Um, we know at the very least we can, no we can't, <laughs> we can go this way, and that avoids all the mines that all the lovely people have popped around here. We know this area is safe at the very least. For now. It doesn't always stay that way. And this, well, some people could have returned over here. The settlement that was there. And that, that I believe is from the petrol station. Petrol? Police station. P petrol station. No, no, this is home. Ah, oh, it just hadn't loaded in. Well, I, I say home. It's a uh, home away from home. Um, it's not exactly the most homely place in the world. No one else has moved in? Okay, good. But I think... I think Noah is almost at a point where her patience is constantly getting pushed by these Alliance members. She's just trying to get by. She's just trying to survive. And if they keep on pushing her, well, she might stop asking questions. Stop asking them to put their hands up and run away. Okay, uh... That's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Were they yelling at us? The hell is that? Someone's shooting. You'd think I'd be able to see better with this night vision scope. 
I can't see you. Yeah, someone's fighting someone. Okay, so it's the it's the station people. So it is the alliance that it, that's talking there. We can't see the person who is actually talking. Might be up here on the bridge. Cause there's a bucket system. Just be very careful where we step right now. So this is the back of the station. This is the problem. Getting away from here is not easy. Because the Alliance are everywhere. They control who comes in, who goes out. I imagine they wouldn't want us leaving here with a whole heap of equipment and loot because they see that it's belonging to them. So let's not let them see us, hopefully. If they do, we just start to run and hope for the best. I'm more than a little afraid right now. Okay. So far, so good. Well, there's certainly no way for us to get down underground. Not from there. Okay. We can breathe a little bit. But we aren't going to go speeding away just yet. And I'm not going to turn my light on just yet. I think we get a little bit further away. Just over here, even. I'll be feeling a little bit more confident. Okay. Ooh. We're okay. I, th I think. God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Looks like there might be a small house over that way, but this is, this is the section of road that we were searching for, that we were trying to get to. A section that we've kind of been to before where the ghoul was. Yes, now, I am going to go back there now, because I know that we shot the glowing one, and I kind of didn't go and investigate his place properly. And that's what we're going to do. But we didn't kill you, though, right? We've been dead for a while. I don't want to get too close, though, because, uh... Well, the Nuka-Cola station over here is where... Yeah, something's gone down here. Maybe that's what the fighting was. There was the dude with the minigun that we really don't want anything to do with. And there's someone over there. Definitely Alliance. Okay. We're wandering around here with our torch on. Not the safest maneuver, but we'll do it and we'll see if we can find anything worthwhile in this place before we leave it behind. A nice dress. We can't look in those, so I don't even know why I'm trying. Just work our way up the top. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure we haven't looked at this. I'm not I'm not 100%. Uh, no, I don't remember this, so I'd say we haven't. Jawless Cowskull. Ooh, hello. We'll take the Brain Fungus and Grognak the Barbarian. Hey, come with the Trickster. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5%. Extra damage. Cool. Nice cap. Yeah, we'll leave the rest. Okay, well that was that was definitely worth us having a look at, but we're gonna go and drop down. And keep on moving on. I don't know how far we're gonna get tonight. We're not gonna go investigating those bodies. We we wanna cut ties with the Alliance. We want nothing to do with them. And it's gonna be too easy for us to get embroiled in whatever the hell is going on here. Sometimes we just need to keep on moving, and that's what we're going to do here. At least we're going to try to. Eventually we're going to start running out- well, actually no, I think we've run out of booze already here. I did find some more in the brewery, but I don't think we have much, if any, left at all. Which means that we've probably got our sanity a little bit more under control. So that's kind of a good thing. Might be able to check out that building. I really don't like moving around with our uh, light on at night. But it's going to give us an actual chance to see if we run into any mines. Don't know if that sound was us or not. 
not for us. Nice little sh shop front, but we can't get into it, unfortunately. So it is not for us. Yeah, I've decided. Don't. I don't like traveling at night. <laughs> I really don't. I do not feel safe in the slightest, and I feel like at any stage there could be a mine in the road at, like, right in front of us, so we're just going to take this section of road nice and slow. Just because they're so well camouflaged now. Is that a fruit? Oh, I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay. We're gonna need to pick a path. Which way we're gonna go? That's gonna lead us down along by the coast. Uh, and that's kind of the way that we want to go, because we want to follow this main road, this kind of highway here, all the way to Scolay. Whether or not that's a good idea, I'm... I'm not sure I'm just as in the dark as the rest of you. Uh, is that safe? What do we got? Kitchen scale. I thought there was something sitting on top of it, but it was just my eyes. Playing tricks on me in the dark. Trinity Tower radio signal found. Well, I guess we could go ahead and flick, flick that on. See what we can hear. Actually, what would Trinity Tower be broadcasting at this stage? I don't know. Nothing? Nothing. Silence. That kind of makes sense. Uh... Oh, I don't like this. I think... What the hell? Okay. Uh... I think... I heard... Footsteps. As in, like, animal footsteps. I think they could... Yeah, there's definitely an animal around here. Just beneath us, no, or it's a. Well, it could be. It could be a glowing variation of something. We need to get away now. Come oh, on, I really didn't want to go back up here, but we might have to. I can't see what the hell that was. It was beneath us. It was under the bridge. What the hell could it be? It, it's. It's either a ghoul, which I don't think it is, because it sounded like it was four-legged. I think it could probably be a glowing one, a glowing variety of something. A glowing dog, a glowing wolf. I think we need to find out before we carry on. We kind of that thing stalking us, so... Okay. Ah, uh, it's freaking me out big time. I don't like the idea of being hunted in the night, and I feel like we're being hunted. What the hell? Hello? Okay? Just a traveler? Hey, buddy. Hey. You gonna be my friend? Yeah? No? Can we- can we talk? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, hi. <clears throat> good day to you, stranger. Uh, you look like someone that appreciates the utility of a good set of armor. Yes. Yes, I do. I 100% do. And you're talking to me like a human. <laughs> sure. I'm always looking for good armor. My selection is a bit limited right now, but oh. take a look. We, we've found someone that can trade. Holy crap. That's awesome. Okay. Pocketed? Yeah, okay. I, li I like I like you already. Uh, please don't tell me you've already got pocketed right. No, we don't. We could sell this and we could buy his pocketed right arm. Actually, it doesn't even cost that much. Uh, what else do you have that could potentially be pocketed? Nothing. That's the only thing. Well, <laughs> that's that's better than nothing. We're going to trade our right arm and our armor. He's not actually taken our right arm. And we're going to trade for that. Uh, is there anything else that we'd want to take? The sh the the shadowed stuff is cool. But I don't think we're going to take it. Um, again, we're very close to being over-encumbered here. Uh, so we've got a pocketed left. And now we have a pocketed right. And we've got the left leg as well that's pocketed. So, good stuff. Oh, hang on, wait. Left, right arm. Did I just put that on? Oh, no, hang on. It's, it's selected because we got it. we're buying it. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, is there anything else that we want? Three rounds. Well, actually, hang on. Let's ask this. Is there anything we can sell? We could potentially sell some of our ammunition, ammunition that we're not using, these 10 millimeter rounds. We've got quite a few of them though. So like, I feel like if we find a suppressed pistol, we'd, I'd rather go for that than our, th than our 38 one. Um, well, we're not trying to make money here, right? We're just trying to get what we need. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and accept the trade. Thank you. And we've gone and taken that one off our arm. I can't believe that. We actually found something to trade with. Well, I think there's some kind of beast around here, so be careful. Because, uh, yeah, that armor ain't going to protect you, believe me. <laughs> it isn't going to protect anyone at all. That That's going to give us a tiny bit more carrying capacity, so that makes me a happy Noah. Guys and gals, we are going to be wrapping things up here. We're on the road. We managed to find someone that is nice enough to actually trade with us. Which I think maybe has slightly restored Noah's faith. In humanity although who knows that could still be shaken as her night on the road continues thank you all for joining us once again i have been rykon this has been noah hedges you have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned